hope you're having a great week. We've got some things happening here in the church for the next couple of weeks that I want to tell you about. First of all, Marriage Basics. This is a class we've done for several years now for couples who are engaged or who are seriously dating and uh, want to grow that relationship and maybe get ready for marriage. And so it starts on Wednesday night, April the 6th. It meets at 6 p.m. Uh, for eight weeks. And uh, we'd like to, for you to sign up. If you go to firstdenton.org, uh, you can sign up and come and be a part of that class. There's no charge for the class. And if you complete it, uh, you get a significant discount on your marriage license. So uh, if you're interested, sign up. If you know somebody else that might be, let them know about it. Uh, Larry and Shauna Brewer and uh, myself, we teach that class. And uh, we've had dozens go through it through the years. And hopefully it's a benefit to those who do it. And so if you're interested in that, please let us know about that. Now this coming Sunday or next Sunday, April the 3rd is our Discover First class. Now this is our membership class. It is required to become a member of First Denton. It'll happen after the 11 o'clock service down in the fellowship hall. We'll have lunch together. Uh, we'll talk about what it means to be a member of First Denton and you'll have the opportunity to join uh, if you're ready to do that. So that's April 3rd. Sign up for that as well online so we can have enough food for everybody and uh, come and be a part of that with us. And then let me talk about Easter. Uh, we're just a few weeks away from Easter. Sunday, April the 17th is Easter Sunday. We're going to have three services that morning, 8 o'clock, 9.30, and 11 o'clock. And uh, greatest day of the year for the Christian. Uh, it's the day that uh, we celebrate, the day that uh, really uh, makes our faith what it is as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so I hope you'll plan to be here that day, invite somebody to come with you. Great opportunity uh, for people uh, to be invited to come to church, might come to Easter when they wouldn't come any other week out of the year. So that's April 17th. The very next week, I want you to put this on your calendar because the 24th of April is First Love's Denton Day. Now we've not been able to do this for a couple of years now uh, because of the pandemic, but this year we're doing it. We'll come together that Sunday morning uh, for a short time of uh, kind of orientation and prayer. And then we're gonna go out all over our city. We're hoping to have maybe as many as 30 different projects across the city that you can go and be a part of. Now there'll be projects for families, there'll be projects for people that really wanna work hard, uh, others that aren't quite as hard. We'll have some things right here at the church uh, for those who maybe can't go out and do things outside. But it's going to be a great day of serving our community and hopefully making a difference here. And then we're going to come back at lunch, uh, maybe sort of a late lunch, and we're going to have lunch together. So we're going to provide that for you. It'll be a great time of fellowship and sharing stories about what you did in those various projects. So that's on Sunday, April the 24th, the Sunday right after Easter. We thought that'd be a great time to do it and a great time to show our community uh, our love. So hope you're having a good week. Hope you had a good spring break. Spring break's over now, and we're headed into Easter and all the things that are happening here this fall. Uh, so I hope to see you this coming Sunday. I'll be back in the pulpit this week. We'll be back in Mark chapter 6, and we're talking about one of the, maybe one of the darkest, uh, maybe one of the uh, most, uh, I don't know, saddest events in all the Bible. You're know, talking about the crucifixion of Christ. Uh, this Sunday, we're going to talk about the murder, I think, of John the Baptist and uh, what he teaches us even in his death, uh, as he becomes literally the first Christian martyr of the New Testament. So we'll see that this coming Sunday. So I hope you have a great rest of the week. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.